comments on your recent videos. These people are a little, uh, a little... Old. They're a bunch of horny, lonely perverts. Those are your fans. Be respectful. Do not bite the hand that feeds. Okay, so what are they saying about me? Oh, let me see here. This one said that your boyfriend is a too feminine. Like he played both sides of the sushi barber. He don't like fish or surf clam. He only like octopus. But this is a terrible analogy. Where's that useless cutesy sidekick of yours that walks on the tips of his toes? What the hell? <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. He's just a concussion or massive internal bleeding or something. Poke him. That wasn't Saki's illicit booze bath. Something is going on outside. <laughs> ah, so definitely now this guy really dead. He's like a furry pancake. Now, oh, we could we could license that. Yes, that's what we do. License part of a balanced breakfast. Princess robot bubblegum, crispy snatchy pops, and special furry pancakes. Oh no! Oh, the ancient ones warned this day would come. What ancient ones, Master? Oh, those geriatric tight asses at the bank. They say they're gonna foreclose on me. Knock down the secret temple and build a 24-hour drive through massage parlor. With, uh, you know, the human traffic Australian chicks. They love it. <laughs> you don't even have to leave your car. She just reached through the window, wanky, wanky, wanky. Hey, bloke, you want a cockatoo? You know? Uh, okay, dude. Okay, girl, there is a big wrecking ball outside, and they're gonna smash your house down. We know! Calm down, bitch. You're gonna ruin my hair. Master, you taught me discipline. Why haven't you paid the bills? I was, uh, very distracted. I have a 300-year mortgage to pay, and my pension got cut. It's hard time for everybody. Pension? I thought you was an ancient ninja master, is what you told me. I am! Many years ago, I was an ancient ninja postmaster for about five years. Then I retire on a 275-year pension. I can throw a postcard across the room and give you a terrible paper cut. The post office was horrible. Licking, stamping, licking, and licking. God damn it, it's like dealing with my second wife. Your face goes numb, you take a coffee break, you turn back to a soul-crushing job that leaves you feeling terrible afterwards. Hello, master. How are we gonna save our house? Fuck the final. Wait, merchandising! But, Master, since the last DVD got edited by censors in the West, we don't sell so many. So no more merchandising. No more Princess Robot bubblegum dolls, or pencil cases, or rulers, or blow-up companions, or love balls, or erotic massage oils, or all the other creepy shit you've sunk all our money into. Sometimes the path is not straight, but it's still true. Oh, I like that line. I like that. Maybe I sell it on a bumper sticker. Anyway, the path of truth is still the path of merchandising. Merchandising! Personal merchandising! Merch, merch, merch! I never knew you worked in marketing. Oh, it's easy. Any fool with half an MBA can do it. Listen, you will save our house in the time-honored way. You will please horny men one after the other. They will be standing in line for a chance at you, and we can charge them $20 a pop! Master, I won't be a massage girl! No, stupid bitch! We go to comic convention! You sign an autograph and we sell some more action figures! We rebrand the erotic oil as a... Uh, as a personal usage erotic oil for the lonely lover. And the branded socks to clean yourself up with afterwards. You know, it's prostitution of a different kind. But legal personal merchandising. Oh, it makes my loins ache. Oh, this is so exciting. Never in my years of being a blind androgynous child with a huge sword could I have imagined such wonders. Yes, truly the script riders have reached new heights. Time for an incongruous clip of an arousing girl fight. You see? You like that? If you, you do, don't you? My poor little Saki. He was always drunk and slept in my underwear drawer, but I loved him like a brother! Please, that's like the last five guys you've gone out with. Master! 
Master, what are you doing? Fair. Fuck who won. Master! <laughs> oh, please, oh, please. Ni hao na, ni hao na. Turn off the waterworks. Shut up! Cry me a river, you're a big girl. This is exciting rebranding opportunity. Nothing sells like a cute animal sidekick. We have auditions. We'll change them every season. Flavor of the mom, fuck it. Humpy! Smithy! Grindy! Smoky! Poopy! Where are we, Germany? Okay, you do. Humpy, humpy. Audition over. Blind boy, kill the rest. Come on, we've got to get to the convention center and save this ancient temple. <laughs> Just some shit on the floor. Princess Robot Bubblegum is brought to you by... No-Go Vodka. The new premium vodkas come from a place where everyone's depressed, most people are unemployed, and a few rich people have stolen all the money. Not Russia, the Midwest! No-Go. Premium vodka from the heartland, not the motherland. Oh, this place smells some terrible. It's like a fat person's armpit, Cuddy, for real. And nobody's buying nothing. That is my special vapor machine. It attracts nerds with the smell of unwashed loneliness. It is very powerful. That's why I bring this. When the battle rages hardest, every warrior know you have to fend for yourselves. Put that shit on a sticker. I thought your last film was really lacking. Anime has moved beyond your hackneyed stereotypes. Clothes made from belts, an emo character, tentacle rape. It's just such a cliche. It's not like in Rape Fest Quark Zoom where they subvert the cliches by embracing them and then undermining them by making them all true. But then that's written by a genius, whereas your show is such a hack job. Seriously, where do they find these people? Are you going to fucking buy something? Oh, have you met Humpy? He's the hot new sidekick. Humpy Plumpy. <laughs> You're old news. The future of anime is shiny wasabi kitty. She's awesome. Wait, who's that? That is shiny wasabi kitty. Hello, nerd. I trained her many years ago. She was my pupil. But she turned evil. Girl, I'm blind and I knew that bitch was evil. I could smell it. She had sulfur spewing down south. And she is overtly sexy, but also tough and good at fighting, just like every nerd really wants. But how is she evil? Oh, she won a larger cut of residuals. I tell her you are just like my last boy band in ass. I like boy bands. She seems to be doing just fine without you. All right, girl, listen what we need to do. We need to sabotage that bitch. We won't get rid of the competition, okay? Come on, Humpy. You with me, girl? Humpy sabotage! Listen up, listen, listen. You listening? Okay. Let's do something really impressive that we haven't figured out yet and get people liking our show again. It's what we gonna do. By the way, how I look. Humpy, Humpy! <laughs> oh, my fire kick is humping. It's so fast modern. I want to buy a t-shirt. What a cute, horny sidekick. How about you come on my show? I'll give you 5%. Humpy like percentages? Winky, winky time. Ugh, stop that. That's demeaning to women. No, it's not. This is great. It's art. Who are you to determine what's demeaning to women? It's not demeaning. <laughs> you subvert the cliches. I am the cliches. Look at me. Bitch fight! <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Yeah, and you defected from me, you fucking whole bag. Stop crying and start fighting. Take your clothes off. Stop indulging them. Watch this. It's just as much fun. Wait, whoa. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You try. Wow, that felt liberating, right? What's happening? I love you, Princess Rabbit Bubblegum. Wow, that was awesome! But we'll still lose the house, and now we have no fans left. I'm sorry, Master. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I got the whole thing on my smartphone. Put behind paywall, make episodic, all merchandising, merchandising. Merchandising! And subverting all the cliches. <laughs> and now, uh, if I could get you two to maybe, uh, you know, kiss or delicately fondle each other, or even not so delicate. <laughs> oh. Happy, happy freeze frame time! Oh no, why are you on the stealing? Is it the anti-gravity gun again? Shit nozzles. No, we've been shot with the anti-narrative gun. This episode makes no sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, we ran out of ideas how to end this episode. So I'm just gonna sing a song to you. How come you, mm, you smell so Asian, but you look so Caucasian? I can't get next to your love, girl. I'm gonna break you in half, little Japanese woman. Mm. Oh, I like them big eyes like saucers and a small mouth like a mouse's ear. Get rid of that sissy man, you will. Oh, yeah. Shut the fuck up, singing plan ass bitch. How I look? <laughs>